Hello, we are group 3 in the Amos project and I want to present you our project for this course and show you a demo of our app. We made an alternative to Microsoft SharePoint inside Microsoft Teams by adding Nextcloud to the MS Teams environment. Our app offers basic file management functionalities like uploading, downloading, deleting or renaming and also offers synchronization between the app and Nextcloud and also looks as similar as possible to the default Microsoft Teams tab. We are a group of five students and on the left side on the slide uh, you can see our architecture. We use the Logflow v2 as authentication for Nextcloud and the WebDAV protocol for communication and as technologies for our app we are using Vue.js with Bootstrap. As for the requirements, you need an MS Teams account and the Nextcloud instance and to install our app in MS Teams you need a zip file which can be downloaded from our GitHub pages um, which you see in the release. It's this zip file. I already installed our app in MS Teams and now we can see the login procedure. After pressing on the login button I have to authenticate myself for Nextcloud and once this is done, we can go back and see all our files and folders that are listed here. And now for the UI, let's check what uh, the SharePoint version looks like. We go here to files and we see here's an action bar on the top where you can perform multiple actions depending on what you selected, for example, for this folder or for multiple stuff. Um, you, on the right side, you have uh, information and also an icon for the corresponding uh, file or folder and you can also adjust the column here and let's see what this looks like in our version. We also have an action bar here on the top. You can see there are different actions to be performed to one, uh, depending what you just selected. You also see we have a, a directory, a navigation bar and it will show the uh, current directory and you see we have also icons here and some information and you can also adjust this column here for example and as you can see the checkboxes they also look like the one in, as in SharePoint and now let's see if these folders here and files are the corresponding to the one in the Nextcloud web view. If we press on this button we see the next cloud web view and yes, these are the same folders and files. Now we go back here and let's just create a new folder. Super cool folder, for example. We go inside the folder and upload some stuff here. For example, this PDF, a video, picture and a text file. And we get a nice progress bar here on the bottom and also notification on the right side once the item is uploaded. And as you can see, this PDF file name is pretty long. I just want to rename it. Let's say city plan for example. I will save it and now I want to share this maybe with a colleague. I will copy the link here and select the text and push it or press uh, paste it to my web browser. Let's see if it's the correct file. Yes we have the city plan here. It was The name was changed some seconds before and as you can see this is a city plan and if I close this now we see here's the whole structure of the super cool folder I just created and when we go back we can also just download the folders uh, the files we just uh, uploaded here I press on the download button press on download now we go back here to my downloads folder and as you can see these three files were just downloaded some seconds ago and I can also deselect everything and go one step back. And now I just delete everything I just uh, created before. And yes, these are all the functionalities we have so far. And this was our demo video for our Amos project. And thank you for listening.